Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's solve 2 thirds minus 1 6. And then I have another fraction that is similar. And um, the challenge with this is it has an uncommon denominator. But we can do it. It's really not that tough. Okay, first thing you need to do is find a common denominator. And a common denominator is a number that both 6 and 3 will divide into evenly. I like to use uh, prime factorization, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, first I'm going to complete a factor tree. For 3, that does not take very long because 3 is prime. And then for 6, I will begin with 2. 2 times 3 is 6. I'll circle the 2 and the 3 because they're both prime. Now I use this rule. Multiply each factor the greatest number of times it occurs in either number. If the same factor occurs more than once in both numbers, you multiply the factor the greater number of times it occurs. Okay, So first we have the 3. It occurs in both the 3 and the 6, and it only occurs one time in both. So I'm going to multiply 3 one time. And then 2 only occurs one time. So it's 3 times 2 is 6. So our, prime, our, our least common denominator is 6. Now I'm going to rewrite 2 thirds minus 1 6 okay let me move this up and I'm going to write our common denominator of 6 the next thing I do is I will multiply I will divide 6 by the denominator of both fractions so I'm gonna have 6 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 6 3 goes into 6 2 times 6 goes into 6 1 time okay now what I do is I multiply this number by the fraction that it was used for. So here's what I mean. I'm going to write 2 over 3 times 2, because that's how many times 3 goes into 6, and then 2 times 3. Minus, I'm going to do the same thing, 1 over 6, 1 times 1, and 6 times 1. So now I will multiply these out. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 1 is 6. Okay. Now I am ready to subtract because I have a common denominator before both fractions. 4 minus 1 is 3. 6 minus 6 is 6. Okay. Now I can reduce because I know 3 goes into 6, okay? So I'm going to have 3 divided by 3 equals 1, and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So there is my answer. So 2 thirds minus 1 6 equals 1 half, okay? Now let's look at our next fraction and see if we can apply the same rules. Okay, let's go ahead and solve this next one, and we can uh, complete this the same way. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is find a common denominator. I will um, complete a factor tree. 4 is 2 times 2, and then 3 is already prime. Remember, I multiply each factor by the greatest number of times it occurs in either number. If the same number of fact occurs more than once in both numbers, you multiply the factor the greatest number of times. So, 2 occurs once in 4, and it occurs 2 times, so it will be 2 times 2, and then you have 1, 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. So, my common denominator is 12. So, let's rewrite this. We have, sorry about that, here we go, we have a 5 over 4 minus 1 third. So let's take our common denominator, 12, and let's divide it by 4, and let's divide it by 3, okay? 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So far, so good. So now we're going to multiply each fraction by the number of times the denominator goes into 12. So I'm going to rewrite this. So we have 5 times 3 and 4 times 
3 minus 1 times 4 over 3 times 4. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. Move it up one more time. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Now I just subtract because I have the same denominator. 15 minus 4 is 11. And you do not subtract the denominator. And it is 11 twelfths, and that is reduced because 11 um, is a prime number, so we can't be reduced anymore. So there we go. We have 5 fourths minus 1 third is 11 twelfths. I hope this helps, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.